This is my second video about how I hate my school. If I had a match and some gasoline, pour the gasoline all over the school, throw the match at it. I'd be so happy. But, but I don't want to be arrested, so I'm not going to do that. Okay, so in fourth period, my teacher wrote a note to my dad just because I was absent one day. Well, really, two days, but kind of one day, really. And she wrote a note to my dad just because of that. And she was yelling at us for no reason. And she started cussing at us, too. And second period, I hate it, too, because of this basically the same reason. But it was a male substitute. He was yelling at one of the stu students because he has a metal kneecap. Because when he told us why he has a metal kneecap. Because whenever he was little, he had injured it really bad and severely. He had to go to the hospital and he was in there for about four years. And he was like, to one of the, one of the, just one of the assholes in my class, he's, he's like, um, yeah, what, why, then how are you still living? That's exactly what he said, what, what, I'm like, what the heck? And then the teacher, uh, I think, I can't really remember his name, if I remember, I'll say, but he's like, you know, I've been living longer than you have, and I think I'm feeling pretty damn good. And I'm just like, again, once again, you're not supposed to do that. Because he, he yelled at one of the kids again, but he's just like, shut the hell up. And I'm just like, how about you shut the hell up? And then also, my homeroom, my homeroom um, first period, uh, he is just... The stupidest person I have ever met. And he is such a hypocrite. I, I, I t I'm telling you. Because we're not even making a single sound. I say one sentence, one phrase, and I'm like, hey, hey, can I borrow your eraser? And he's like, why don't you shut up? And I'm like, why don't you be quiet? And I'm just mumbling that and you can't even hear me. And you're still yelling a tantrum. And I'm like, um, okay. Why do I get all the bad teachers? Seriously. And he's like, why don't you be quiet, you little fools? And I'm like, we're not even talking. We're whispering for an eraser, saying please and thank you. Manners, that's what you teach us, right? And I'm just like, I wanted to punch his face in, clearly. It's what I wanted to do. And if I were allowed to, kick him where the sun does not shine, make his nose bleed. Even kill him if I could. Well, that could, just I won't. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm very angry right now because the thought of my school just makes me want to hurl. Puke, vomit, whatever you want to call it. Throw up, I don't, I don't really give a crap about what you want to call it. But my school is run by a bunch of idiots. And our principal, if you've seen The Hunger Games, she sounds exactly like Effie Trinket from The Capitol. I, I'm serious. She even dresses like her sometimes. She was wearing um, little rose um, pantyhose. With, they don't look good on her. And she, it's like she's wearing a wig that she doesn't even brush. Basically, exactly like Effie Trinket. And sometimes... She doesn't brush her hair at all. I don't even think she showers sometimes. And she wears the tiniest clothes where you can see her belly button. Her belly button. And I'm like, put a jacket on, dude. Uh, I swear, I I'm going to say, I don't give a shit about this school to her whenever I get out. I can't wait until graduation. I'm going to have to spend another fucking year in the school. I'm sorry. I'm just very angry right now. Uh, please excuse my hat. I love this hat. It's so cool. Yes, I, I am watching Full House and um, she has a very cool umbrella. It's one of those hypnotizing umbrellas. Those are so cool. I want one. No, keep spinning it. Yeah, I know that 
this show is very old, I want to show you something that may or may not blow your mind. If you have ever watched one Full House episode, just one. Okay, this is my dad in his high school photo. He looks exa basically exactly like Bob Saget in this picture. See that? That's my dad. Now he does not look like this. Okay, so let's see. Okay. Dad? Oh. Get away, Jesse. Okay, I'm gonna have to rewind. Rewind. And here we go. This is my cat again. Uh, I don't know if you can see it very well or not. Yes, it is flipped, most likely. Oh, come on, you see! Stupid rewind. Hey, there's the umbrella. See? There's Bob, right here. There's Bob and my dad. Is that freaky or what? And it was just around the same time too, I think. But my dad looks nothing like that anymore. <laughs> He's old, gray hair, beard. <laughs> oh, here's a picture of him. <laughs> That was when I was little, in that picture. So, yeah. Please excuse me in that picture. That was just a random moment of mine. And here is my mom. She's skinnier now and much more pretty. Here's me and, here's me and my cousin. We are different races. And, that was when I was about seven, maybe five, I don't know. It was around the age of five to seven. And here's me whenever I was a baby. <laughs> don't know if you can see that or not. Well, my, I'm sad to say, but my parents are divorced now. But they are very happy, but they're... They're happy that they can still be friends. I think they're better off being friends than an actual married couple. Because my dad still runs some errands for her. He's, she still runs some errands for him. But I think he does more errands than she does because she has to take care of my baby brother who's only um, a few weeks, not few weeks, a month old. And if I can, I will show you a very cute picture of him that I have if I can ever find my 3DS. Ever, I lost it. So yeah. Mm.